hours between 2 and 7 o'clock. And the reason why is we're seeing that west coast sea breeze getting an earlier start, and it's already firing up quite a few showers and thunderstorms along it. So that could bring in the potential for a couple of stronger thunderstorms right around 2 to about 6 o'clock is, I think, the worst of it. But I did make it until 7 in case we have some lingering storms well beyond that. So impact weather between 2 to 7 p.m. today, and that is because we are expecting showers and thunderstorms to really pick up in coverage. Right now, all is quiet, though, in Ocala, but we're starting to see some showers and thunderstorms firing up over into Marion County this afternoon already as well. Here's a closer look at our first warning radar. We're seeing thunderstorms already firing up along the east breeze along coastal Volusia County, including uh, over into Ormond Beach, Daytona Beach, and Port Orange. Down the south, we had a teeny tiny shower over near Minns and Titusville. Out towards the west, a few isolated pop-ups here by the theme park district, but then we do have some heavier rain setting up into far eastern Marion County, especially out towards Salt Spring in southeastern Marion County. Today's rain chance, as you can see, most of central Florida in the red, indicating a high rain chance today, which is why we will see impact weather, especially between 7 or 2 to 7 o'clock tonight. So here's like a future cast. The so west coast breeze is already getting started, and then as it moves inland, it's going to collide with the east coast breeze and several outflow boundaries. So by 4 to 5 o'clock, showers and thunderstorms just west of I-4 with the collision right along I-4 just to the west around 6 to 7 o'clock. So that could impact the early early part of the evening commute, so heads up around 5, 6 o'clock. It could be a wet drive home. Temperatures right now, very warm. We're at 88 right now in Orlando, 90 in Leesburg. If you're heading out to the attractions today, keep your eyes to the skies for showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Rain will be fading by 7 o'clock. Overnight tight, starting off in the mid to upper 70s. High tomorrow afternoon, going to be even hotter. And the reason why is we are going to see some drier air tomorrow. Here's a look at future cast as you wake up tomorrow morning. All is quiet. Then as we go into around lunchtime, you can see an isolated pop up and then we will see a late day collision. But look where it favors areas to the west. Orlando on Metro on South. We're looking at drier conditions tomorrow. So if you're looking for rain tomorrow, it's going to be mainly along the I-75 corridor where we have the best shot for rain. The Orlando Metro looking fairly dry for tomorrow. Drier trend continues throughout mid to late week. Then Friday we start to increase the rain chances again, and that will be the case into the upcoming weekend. Right now tracking the Saharan does not much over us now, but we are expecting a pretty thick plume that will be heading our way as we go into next week. Watching this next plume that's expected to move in by this upcoming coming weekend. You can see that next round of Saharan dust moving in and it looks pretty thick and that will continue into early next week. So if you're sensitive to those dust particles, keep that in mind next weekend into early next week. May be a bit hazy for uh, create some hazy skies and be a little bit sensitive to you folks. Here's a look ahead at your Central Florida certified most accurate forecast. Hot, hazy, humid tomorrow, Thursday. High rain chance today at 60% rain coverage with again impact weather between 2 to 7 o'clock this evening.